Wow, with more than a billion cars in the world nowadays, it's astonishing that we can remember where we park the darn thing. Yep, it's amazing how little people know about their own vehicles. Like, have you ever wondered what the world's most favorite car color is? Nope, it's not pews. How much of your car is recyclable? Or why does your turn signal make this annoying clicking sound? Well, check these out. The first cars weren't equipped with a steering wheel. When the driver needed to turn, they had to use a special lever. The heaviest limousine, called Midnight Rider, was produced in 2004. This huge vehicle weighed more than 50,000 pounds, which is 3.5 times as heavy as an elephant. About 70 feet long, the limo could comfortably seat 40 passengers and 4 crew members, had 3 different lounges and a separate bar. The world's lowest street-legal car is Mirai, which means future in Japanese. That's where the unusual vehicle was built. This single-seater rises less than 18 inches above the ground. And since it's a slightly scary experience to drive Mirai on a busy street, when someone does, there's always a guarding car in front of the little vehicle and another one behind. The average family car spends 95% of its lifetime parked. Surprising, huh? Do you like the smell of a new car? <laughs> then I've got some bad news for you. It's actually the odor of different volatile organic compounds used to build vehicles. The smell does no good to your health, and manufacturers are adopting various techniques and measures to get rid of it. More than 250 million car tires are thrown away every year. The world's first speeding ticket was issued in 1904. The offender was going at a speed of 12 miles per hour whew, in an area with a speed limit of 8 miles per hour. By the way, at that time, most cars couldn't drive faster than 45 miles per hour. Electric cars aren't a recent invention. In 1900, almost 40% of all cars were electric. Around 40% of vehicles were powered by steam, and a bit more than 20% were fueled by gasoline. The average driver spends five months of their life waiting in their car at red lines. In 1960, $3,000 would have bought you a brand new car, for example, a Buick LeSabre. These days, you would have just enough to get a steering wheel, transmission, and two doors. The average car is stuffed with 55 pounds of copper wiring, which is as heavy as six medium-sized domestic cats. And an electric car has three times this amount of copper, which is 165 pounds or 18 kitties. Yeah, that's a crazy comparison compounding copper into kitties, but we're creative here on the bright side. When asked, more than 90% of drivers confess they regularly sing behind the wheel. Hey, what's your favorite tune to sing while driving? Tell me about it in the comments. Up to 75% of all the Rolls-Royce cars ever made are still on the road these days. The largest speeding fine ever was a reported $290,000 ticket a Swiss motorist got in Switzerland. The Ferrari Testarossa driver was going through a 50 mile per hour zone at a speed almost twice as high. The fine was calculated based on the driver's wealth, plus it was a repeat offense. Zoom zoom, ka-ching! There are about 1.2 billion cars in the world these days. For comparison, in 1986, there were only 500 million. Experts are sure that by 2040, people all over the world will own more than 2 billion cars. Every day, around 165,000 cars are produced worldwide. It adds up to more than 60 million cars a year. One of the world's most loved cars is the Volkswagen Beetle. More than 20 million units have been sold all over the world. The last car that still had a cassette player was the Ford Crown Victoria in 2011. After that, you had to buy CDs for new music playing devices installed in vehicles. The three-point seatbelt saves one life every six minutes. By the way, this safety measure was invented by Volvo in 1959. The company didn't patent its invention, so that other car producers could use it for passenger safety as well. An airbag's speed is faster than the blink of an eye, almost 200 miles per hour, and it takes one just 40 milliseconds to deploy after an impact. Almost 80% of the average car is recyclable. 
In some countries, automobile recycling is one of the largest industries. The turn signal makes its trademark clicking sound because of the heat. You switch on the blinker, the electricity heats up a special spring, and the thing keeps bending until it comes into contact with a small strip of metal. As soon as these two components get connected, an electric current passes through them and powers the turn signal light. After that, the spring cools down and returns to its original shape, switching the light off. Then the process starts again to produce a new flash. By the way, since more cars are getting computerized, lots of manufacturers start to rely on computer technologies to activate turn signals. This way, the whole process that once produced the clicks is skipped. Interestingly, some drivers get unsettled when they don't hear the familiar sound after activating the blinkers. That's why in some computerized cars, the sound is still there. White is the world's most favorite car color. Being more noticeable, white vehicles are 10% less likely to get involved in road accidents than others. One more super popular car color is silver. In some countries, police cars carry teddy bears. These stuffed toys are used to calm down scared kids who get lost. Several decades ago, Japan was the world's leading car manufacturer. These days, it's only the third, after China and the USA, with China producing almost 25% of the world's cars. The world-famous three-pointed Mercedes-Benz Star was chosen to represent the company's dominance in three places – the land, sea, and air. You know, somehow, I have not yet seen their car which can drive, float, and fly. So if you have, jot something in the comments, please. Audi's four overlapping rings emblem symbolizes four originally independent companies that eventually merged into one, the famous Audi Group. And as for the BMW logo, it comes from the company's original production, airplanes. The blue and white circle, also known as target sign, symbolizes a white spinning propeller against the blue sky. The BMW M5 has such a quiet engine that the car has to play fake engine noises through its audio system to remind the driver that it's actually working. The world's cheapest car is Tata Nano, a tiny thing shaped like a jelly bean. This rear-wheel drive vehicle can accelerate up to 65 miles per hour and costs around 2,000 bucks. It's a widespread misconception that just a few countries have left-hand traffic. In reality, not more than 65% of the world's population drive on the right side of the road. Driver surveys show that 16% of all car owners never wash their cars. When Mary Anderson invented the first effective windshield wipers, they were considered an unnecessary distraction until drivers realized they were game changers. Historians believe that the word car came from the Latin word carus, which means a wheeled vehicle. Another version is the Middle English word cara, a two-wheeled cart. The first car radio appeared in 1924. This device had an exorbitant price that could reach $130. It may seem like not a big sum, but how about this? The average car price was around $540 at that time. The car radio was believed to be distracting, and many safety agencies were trying to ban it from cars. And finally, Hyundai Tucson has a special edition that contains a zombie survival kit, just in case. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life.